Well, well, welcome back my gardening friends. Still sitting. You might say, after three months, is it really worth it? Well, let's go and have a look. So, do you remember what the polytunnel looked like? That's what it looks like now. Bar gum, hell of a lot of effort, but really, really, really uh, well worth it. Everything's pretty well in place now. Now, I changed the, um, the top two inches because I'm having issues, as you'd expect, using the uh, soil from out of here, the soil and compost, getting quite a few uh, uh, weeds. So, I've, uh, all I've used is my spent compost and the leaf mould. Now, there will be stuff growing in the leaf mould, no doubt, but not as much as I've had in the soil in my homemade compost. So, we've got all these in place now. And uh, in between, we've got, uh, these will be where some of the cucumbers uh, will be going. And uh, that pot there uh, stops, when I water, I water down the side of the lampshade, the street lamp cover. And the water only sits around the uh, outside of the plant, so it stops a lot of the damping off. So we've pretty well got them all in these, uh, in between the the barrels these barrels will be holding some of the carrots some of the uh, heavy cucumbers and longer cucumbers i've done a little bit of setting out i won't have enough of these to do the, everything but what i can do is get the seeds growing mark it pop the seeds in and then uh, move the uh, pots down or you probably leave those in place but actually just mark these with little circles and I'll know where they are. I'm hoping to get the guttering washed and sorted uh, this weekend or beginning of this week. Yes, what a great difference. And then the two water butts in here. We've got that water butt there that may end up irrigating in a fashion, just while I'm here maybe, worth a try. But yes, really pleased uh, with how this has turned out so let's move on the wildlife pond on uh, plot three just had a little tidy up there just to make it easy for the frogs to get in and this bed no change uh, no weeds after we uh, topped it up with the uh, compost and the brassica cage now has uh, been uh, completed just makes uh, the whole place look uh, a lot tidier. Just used a few battens to hold it down and because this pallet wood is deteriorating there's one or two holes so I should just put a bit of soil up against it just to stop the butterflies getting in. And we have some damage so I'm thinking perhaps a little bit of silicon and put a bit in it. I know sometimes you use the cable ties but I think the butterflies will get in so We'll, we'll just use a little bit of silicon and a bit of debris netting to repair those little bits for this year. With the extra height in the brassica cage, definitely not going to be able to walk down here now, but there's going to be plenty of material here for the raised uh, no dig beds next year. This is uh, allotmentals overwintering potato challenge. There's no signs of life at the moment. It's back outside now, and hopefully uh, that will have survived. That was the whole point. This parsnip box, it's four pallet collars high, and it's about a metre, with the extra depth with the crowbar, but I'm not going to empty out this empty this out this time I'm going to use uh, a different method method of rejuvenating the uh, soil uh, and compost uh, at about a metre deep and that'll be a future future episode half this uh, carrot box is done very similar 
to the indoor one and I'm just working my way through this one there and as you can see we're still getting quite a bit of stone debris out of the soil we got from the polytunnel that's outside now all this compost here is from the spent potatoes and any surplus I'll be taking this out moving it somewhere else because the spent potato compost has got the manure in and a few other bits that uh, my giant veg uh, will like now this was in the bottom of the carrot bed we've just looked at and I think they were worm castings just looks very much like worm castings and they didn't break down and they haven't held the moisture very well so uh, won't be using that again I think the manure is uh, so much better into the onion cage these are the red electric onions and uh, this is what we mean about no dig I don't know whether you can actually see those uh, clearly it's difficult to see through the uh, screen but these are the worm castings so the worms are busy down there eating making holes drainage and then just dis 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 putting this stuff on the top <laughs> So we should never have to touch uh, the soil uh, again once these no dig uh, beds uh, are in place. Literally, I will be making the soil up first, but once the beds are done, I won't be touching it. And there's the elephant garlic uh, looking quite healthy. Any spare stations here? I'll pop these last few Bedfordshire champions and I've got uh, five of uh, Pete's Back Garden's uh, Calce onions. But these onions were grown outside by the look of it and they look so much more healthier. I think the grow room hasn't done the onions much good as you can see there. They're uh, some of the Bedfordshire champions and uh, they may have been done too early. And the grow room hasn't done them any good whatsoever. Still got a few Swedes and they're still looking healthy so they can stay in the ground I'm going to leave them in the ground as long as I can until they've uh, gone completely rotten or not usable this is the remaining soil from out of the polytunnel and look at it we've still got a great big pile so I, I, I've got to use a bit more of that but not much and I've got a bit of compost there from out the leaks and then there's some more of the spent compost that I find not much left of that that's what I've been using to mix with the leaf mold uh, to finish the bins up I've opened the broad beans up now loads and loads of flowers on them no pollinators so uh, if anybody knows how to uh, tickle these what I could do I'd appreciate it I think I'm just going to use a little bit of a um, bit of twine but we've got quite a big uh, storm coming uh, Sunday into Monday so we'll be battening down the hatches and I've put uh, coffee grounds and eggshell uh, blended eggshells uh, around the broad beans to help them so those are the uh, coffee grounds there they've been using and then we've got uh, the blended eggshells just have to be wary of the dust guys especially when you're actually blending up but I'll be showing you the uh, me egg shell collection fairly soon because I've got so much compost I decided to top this bed off as well this is going to be the root bed but I should just have to make a few holes through the cardboard hopefully it's damp enough now and it's all broken up now you've probably only just seen the purple sprout in broccoli but I did it last Saturday and it's Saturday again Saturday the second and uh, bar gum that's a, a good one so I'll be uh, let's have a quick look at the other one uh, this one is uh, nettle versus uh, comfrey but I, I might leave it another week but at the moment it's even Stevens but I'd like to leave it another week. Let's give it another dosing. So it's uh, about 10 to 1. And they're being fed once a week. When we look back three months ago, 
Kodali walk up this path because this fruit cage was in the way. So the fruit cage has all been done. Those beds have been done. I've now put uh, the log ashes around uh, most of the fruit trees, bar from the uh, blueberries. To see how they get on. Let's move over to uh, hashtag starting a new allotment, plot one. Still haven't had time to tidy these beds up, but the uh, rhubarb's just showing through. This one I have managed to do, just get a few stones and a few of the weeds and a few of the loose uh, leaves. And this one I have actually used the log ashes on it. And there are lots of lovely shoots coming on all these. The uh, wildflower garden's uh, been tidied up and I had my sweet peas along here last time uh, in this corner as you may remember and now the mice have decided to plant them everywhere bar from where I want them. It's no good trying to dig them out because the tap roots are far too long. I don't think I'm going to be planting these seed this time, I'm just going to see what grows. And I have seen uh, both fish and they uh, seem to be doing quite well. And uh, all the fruit trees are uh, starting to bud out, it's really good to see. The last time you looked down this corner I was uh, emptying the water out of these uh, barrels or the barrels uh, into the uh, IBC. Oh look it's nearly uh, at the bottom what's happened here? Near disaster guys absolutely pooed my pants when this went bang. Um, it hasn't got a bottom in so I put a thin piece of ply and naturally in hindsight I should have known that it would belly out and this piece of timber wasn't strong enough so we're going to reinforce it with that but uh, yes it uh, was uh, a wee bit scary when it went I thought uh, I'd had my chips these are some of the uh, plant foods that uh, that's the nettle and uh, I got three comfrey out that barrel so this will uh, now, uh, the nettle tea will be fed very shortly uh, to um, the, uh, the raspberry canes and then I'll use the comfrey when they start uh, to fruit. Now this is the uh, leaf mould bin, the double pallet bin and at the moment there's 12 one ton bags in there and uh, I've got uh, six left to get in. Two more of those will go in today. So we're in the greenhouse uh, on hashtag starting a new allotment and if anyone hasn't looked through the uh, videos in the playlist on this uh, allotment that I start from, from start to finish how we did it then that's well worth a look. The peach tree uh, is uh, got loads and loads of uh, leaves on it there. Uh, no signs of life with the uh, pomegranate. These are some of the smaller containers for the surplus uh, rhubarb and this is the one that I'm uh, forcing at the moment and uh, not very big at the moment I don't know what variety it is I've never ever bought a rhubarb uh, crown in my life because I've begged borrowed but never steal always ask Need to tidy this strawberry tower up. Some of the uh, stations of uh, oh no, there's life there. Just give everything uh, a nice trim. And the uh, strawberry tower with built-in wormery, I'll give that a tidy up, and uh, I'll just check to see if those worms need feeding uh, before I leave today. What a lovely place to sit and relax after three months of uh, not hard graft. It's been enjoyable. I know where I am now. But I hope uh, you've uh, 
not been too bored with the recent upload of quite a few videos but I've had to blog it I've had to share it I'd like I'd like to let you know what I'm uh, up to so just need to recharge my batteries because uh, my robotics uh, have got limits For a quick battery change a wee bit of oil and I'll be away happy gardening to you all Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.